What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to have a quick video, I think, probably about this Frank Fisher Battle Fixed Blade. I just got this from Frank the other day. I had sent my battle in for a little repair, okay? As I mentioned quickly on the unboxing, um, I dropped it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it is what it is, right? I was handling it in my office chair and it fell and fell into my office chair and then down onto the little plastic mat that I have under the chair. And it kind of tweaked the tip ever so slightly. But it was enough to make me sick to my stomach. I talked to Frank. He said, send it in. That sound, I took some close-up pictures and whatnot, a little video for him. He said, send it in, and we'll get it in and out really quick. Okay, cool. I sent it in. Life happened. And, well, he had it for longer than anybody anticipated. And as a little token of appreciation for my patience, he literally slapped this together and included this little trinket as kind of a thank you for the spa treatment and for being patient with him. So uh, I'm super stoked. But as he said, this is not his up to his normal standards and to just literally use the hell out of it or gift it to a kid, I think is exactly what he has said. Well, I am going to reach out to a custom Kydex maker here locally that was uh, recommended to me by a therapeutic edge. Have him see if he can make a Kydex sheath for this. I know that's going to be a bit of a tall order based on the <laughs> blade shape. But uh, yeah, then I plan to just use the hell out of it. I mean, who has? how many of us have a Frank Fisher user? I know I don't. I mean, I do carry this and I use it a little bit, but it's really not a user. Okay, so let's just dive into some of the specs about this. Uh, it is eight inches overall, 3.68 inch blade. Blade thickness is 0 0.106. Overall thickness is 0.495. Weighs in at 3.5 ounces and is AEBL steel. With, as we zoom in, uh, old school marbled carbon fiber for the scales. And he did a great job. I know he just slapped it together and he's not super excited about it, but I think it's fantastic. I am super honored to have it in my collection. I literally did not even know that he made uh, fixed blades. I, I'd, I'd never seen one. I didn't know that they literally even existed. So it fits well in the hand. I mean, it's not huge. It's not a hard use knife, but this... I don't know. It's just cool. And it's cool to have next to the Battle XL. Let's see if I can get these kind of centered. So I'm just super excited about it. And to give you guys a couple little size comparisons with these, we'll do the Sharpie. Just to kind of give you some perspective, uh, the AA battery the D cell battery. Now my other buddy, Eric, he just got a battle and it's a little smaller. I think it's, I want to say it's a three and a half inch. Mm, it's either three and a half or three, seven, five. I think he got a three and a half inch used from another buddy and uh, he loves it. So I'm super excited about that for Eric. And in talking to Eric, there have been, 12 different sizes of the battle. And I know he's made some thinner ones. And I thought there was three sizes, actually. But apparently there's been 12 different variations on the battle, which to me is simply amazing. Uh, this is also amazing. And it's you know more amazing since Frank literally tore it all apart, worked out the action a little bit, uh, and put it all back together. So I'm super grateful and honored that he went to that level 
when it was all my fault to just slightly bend the tip. He could have just ground that out, resharpened it, and called it good, but he wanted to go above and beyond, and he was not super happy with the action when he got it, so he said he was going to take it apart and just make it like new, and it's absolutely fantastic. So I will put a link down below to the full video on that, The uh, actually the only video I filmed in 4K. So go check that out if you're interested in more details about this. I talk about all of the materials and whatnot. We'll give you a quick close-up here. Why not? Beautiful Damascus sand my pattern. He is absolutely famous for his pivots. Obviously, I don't have a tool. I would never think about taking this apart, even if I had the tool. It's just beautiful all the way around. So, all right, there you go. Kind of a quick video to talk about the battle fix blade. So thanks, Frank, for helping me out. Uh, I do greatly appreciate it. And I was super embarrassed when I kind of bent the tip. So thanks for helping me out with that. And uh, thank you all for watching and uh, supporting the channel the way you do. Have yourselves a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.